My word, and good day. I would like to read to you an excerpt from one of my readme files that I found quite amusing and smashing. Ahem. I was just sitting down to enjoy my breakfast, but then this guy came to the door and said, Hey man, do you like pie? And I, being a person who loves pie, reply with yes. I love pie. He then explains that if I wanted, he could make it, so I'd always have pie. Almost too excited to contain myself, I say, a life of pie? Yes, please. That's when I blacked out and woke up in a boat with a tiger. The tiger seemed pretty angry, so I asked him, Why are you so angry, tiger? And the tiger said, I was supposed to work some gig involving a lady, but then this guy came to my jungle talking about pie. My word, was that story not just dapper? I hope you enjoyed this. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthworm Jim. Intros bearing obscure references are awesome. Want to see what happens when the weevil gets you? A little bit of this. Not the prettiest thing ever. Don't deny it though, you used to do this to worms out in the rain, you sadistic viewers. You didn't know that they had hopes and dreams. You didn't know that they had to save a princess from some sort of thing that is evil, probably. Evil is a subjective thing. It's a subjective concept. And as such, I can't really, you know, be the judge. Judy. Now unfortunately, once again, this Mr. Weevil is too far out for me to do anything about. And right behind him is yet another Weevil. So this is what I'm all gonna do. I'm gonna wait for him to come out. Alright, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna die. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. If my platforming skills weren't so abysmal, that would have looked somewhat impressive, I think. Alright, let's try this again, and this time we're gonna do it for real. This time we care. We care enough to share our feelings about unwed dictators. Alright, jumping right over that one. Whew! Alright, we'll slip off here. That looks pretty. Alright, so the object, of course, is to attack what I can only assume is a uh, an egg-laying device belonging to something. Nobody knows what. Also beware that some of the platforms are spikes, and staying on the platforms too long will lead you into a wall of spikes. So chances are, I'm thinking, whatever this thing is, it doesn't want you shooting it in the spinneret. Or the... the ovum. Whatever. I don't know bug. I get that full life, which we totally needed. Checkpoint. Things are only going well from here. What is going on? Ah! Bugs! Never! That wasn't too bad. Alright, so I'm seeing a lot of swirls here, and, um, yeah, what's that about? Actually, I think I'm going to backtrack a little bit, because I feel as though there may be something... Ah, yes, so there is a point to all of this. Well, now you know what happens when you backtrack after seeing swirls. Do that, because the extra ammo can and will be quite helpful for what's to come. we got a bunch of Mega Blast ammo here, and spikes, always good. I kind of mistimed my... My jump. All of them. I'm mistiming all of my jumps. What is happening? Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Should have got on the left side to begin with. Some people just don't learn. And now we are going to have to face off against, hopefully, ha! Queen pulsating, bloated, festering, sweaty, pus-filled, malformed slug for a butt. That is her full name and her title. She imposes taxes and everything because she's a queen. A monarch. And she is the head of the nasty thing that we've been crawling on this entire time. Now the strategy in which to defeat her is just as simple as what you're looking at. Four directions, shoot her in those as you pass her by. Hopefully without getting hit by her insects. Please, I only got 10%, I don't want to die here. Now it's good to fire in bursts because uh, this is a quick and easy way to lose all your ammunition. And uh, attacking her with the short spurts... It's just not the way the lady likes to be treated. She wants you to shoot her properly like you know what you're doing. Employ a little technique. For goodness sake. After a few shots, and by few I mean many, she will go down, and the game will come to its wonderful conclusion. I'm hoping. That would have been a very dramatic and excellent time for her to die. But apparently she's stubborn. See, if you manage to hit her with Mega Blasts, it's a little bit, uh, much faster of a fight. And I wasted them all. 
Goodbye, queen pulsating, bloated, festering, sweaty, pus-filled, malformed slug for a butt. I've had it with you. Oh, don't, don't do netspeak. Please don't. I don't... Ah. Oh. Well, thank you. I appreciate the sentiment. I am kind of the best, at times. All right, we've rescued Princess What's-Her-Name. That's her actual name, too. This game is awesome. Earthwolf Jim is happy to see her. Very happy. All right, let's do what we gotta do. Give us a little bit Aw, oh, no. Why? Why? I knew I shouldn't have launched that cow at the beginning. Animal cruelty never pays in the end. Sorry, Jim, your princess is in another castle. Actually, she's not. She's in this castle. She's just under a cow. That's horrible. Anyway. Yes, exactly. This has been Let's Play Earthworm Jim. I had a lot of fun with this game, as I usually do with my Let's Plays. It's an excellent game, but it's hard. Oh god, is it hard. Just like Dynamite Hetty, the difficulty curve is ridiculous. Some parts are just too easy, other parts are just too hard, and the parts that in are in between are just not around too often. And, you know, a lot of people didn't really like the, uh, Andy Asteroids... Andy Astor! Arrgh! The Andy Asteroids section of the game, because it was just the same thing over and over and over again. It has its... It, it has its charms, but I think they could have done a better job. So what about a princess? I never heard anything about a princess, and she was never heard from again. But what about that crown? Exactly. Thank you, Jim. This should sell for quite a bit on the, on the black market. Ha-ha! Perfect. What a wonderful ending. Now, one of those guys looks a little bit different, but I can't really put my finger on it. One of them is... No, it's not that one, but he is rather handsome. Anyway, thank you for watching Let's Play Earthworm Jim. Much love, see you next time.